the Wizards. For the New York Knicks, with just one win in their last nine outings, things haven't come easy for them. It's been frustrating, but they're hoping to carve out a path, a new path tonight. Wizards, Knicks is next, and we'll be right back. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you very much. What a great comeback story for Derrick Rose. His resilience over the years of injuries has been rewarded. He says everybody struggles. People pretend like they don't. My down days were on TV, so I couldn't hide. The whirlwind I was in, I always stayed calm. I think that's just part of who I am. It's my character. Kevin? Good insight there, Dave. Thank you. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Russell Westbrook. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore and that's something that needs to change so a look at our starters for the Knicks it's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five Barrett is out there with Rose and it's Toppin in at the three spot and for Washington they've got Bradley Beal Hachimura out there with Bryant then there's Russell Westbrook and it's Len in at the five down low and the NBA, Chris, with a long regular season, we know that. Are there things that can make the season seem even longer or, or shorter or or in between for that matter? <laughs> yeah, Kevin, well, I'll tell you what, the cliche, time flies when you're having fun, and we all know that's true. So when you're losing or not seeing eye to eye, that's when the season can really drag on. Now, here's Westbrook. Out to the wing, Len finds Beal. Five on the clock. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on R.J. Barrett. Oh, look, I love the confidence of Beal, but when you work that hard in the offseason and you have a jump shot that wet, I guess it's easy to embrace the punishment. And, you know, we often talk about Beal's skill set and his finesse. He can play a very physical game as well, Greg. He doesn't have a choice. I mean, he had four brothers who all played football in college, so he kind of grew up around the physicality. And you can also tell Bill's taking his strength and conditioning seriously, especially after having the lower body injury issues earlier in his career. And the first one drops. And we so often talk about the elite scoring, but Bill's playmaking is now reaching that same level. Yeah, it just shows you how talented and unselfish he is. All he wants to do is win. I mean, that talent requires help from your teammates. So he uses his vision and instincts and ability to keep them involved. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice, soft touch on his free throws. Barrett against Beal. Rose passes to Robinson. Here's Barrett, hoping to put that miss. Oh, the oh, power on that Prudent! Wow. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Here's Beal. Good. Nice job down low. How do you contain Beal right there? I mean, at times, he just muscles shots in against tough defense. About a minute played so far here in the first. Now, here's Barrett. Robinson down low. Guarded by Lynn. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession.
and it's Washington's ball. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. Well, you know, the ball movement was lacking. You know, things got stagnant. That's why that offense looked so off. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Robinson up top. Outside Rose. Back to Robinson. Toppin passes to Rose. Just five on the clock over Westbrook. Bryant with the rebound. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. It's good. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. And it's Rose with the ball for the New York Knicks. They trail by six. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. And sometimes you have games like that, but you just got to shrug it off and move on to the next one. Here's Len following the score by Derrick Rose. And that one's good. Westbrook. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. Westbrook against Rose. Over Westbrook. No one near Randall as he lets it go. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Beal. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on R.J. Barrett. And floor spacing is key for any offense, and that's what makes having a center like Bryant so valuable. Yeah, G.A., his confidence from beyond the arc grows every year. Has a smooth shot release. Nice touch. Can pop it right over the top of pretty much any defender. He's only going to get better. Shooting two. The first one falls. And did you see the maturation of Bill over time? I mean, I noticed it. He added more wrinkles and dimensions to his game. He's an impressive two guard. Burks, he's checked in for Barrett. And both free throws good for Bill. Knicks trail by eight. Passes to Toppin. Off target from outside. Wizards have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And that one's good. Hachimura. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. They get it back. Robinson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. New York shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. No good on the second free throw. Washington leading now by 10. Here's Hachimura. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Such mobility for a guy his size. Hachimura uses this to his advantage to attract contact. 
in Hachimura's given name, Rui, means fortress in Japanese. And that's what he looks like out there. He's worked hard in the weight room, sports a solid frame with a terrific core and, and that great lower body strength. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you combine Hachimura's power with that 7-2 wingspan, Greg. He's physically built to succeed in a positionless NBA. And add to that, Kevin, he's got solid athleticism along with a versatile skill set. Hachimura still needs to work on creating off the dribble, shooting the jump shot with consistency, but with his work ethic, there's a good chance he turns those into strength. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. And what scouts loved about Hachimura, physically, he came in NBA ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 6'8", 230, shows excellent strength. Also, being relatively late to the game, he's really never developed any bad habits. That's why he was able to come in and hit the ground running. Now Westbrook following the miss by Julius Randle from deep. Beal can't get it to go. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. Randle with the ball, picked up by Bryant. Here's Rose. Robinson, great positioning on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Westbrook passes to Land. Back to Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Pass to Toppin. Let's a floater go. They get it back. He gets that one. So it's Washington now. It's a 10-point game. Outside Westbrook. Outside Beal. To the inside. Here's Hachimura. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. And the wide open shot from Rose. Offline with his three. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. It's good on the putback. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Knicks trail by 12. Rose passes to Toppin. Here is Robinson. The three. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Beal deciding where to go with it. Here's Burks. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, Rose will generate points in any situation. Here he does it by feeding a wide open man. Now Westbrook coming off 31 points last game. They get it again. And he banks in the layup. Westbrook's got eight points. Just doing the job on the backboard. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the New York Knicks. Down by 12. Inside. Randall finds Burks. Down to five on the shot clock. Beal on the double team. Robinson for three. Len grabs the board. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And here's Westbrook. He's got eight. The pass to Len. Over Rose. Len shot is off. Knicks trail by 12. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Oh, that's just the strong upper body. Randall converts through contact. Now he's going to go to the line. 
and a physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randle. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it, able to move and attack in transition. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And then for New York, Taj Gibson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Frank Neely Kina comes in for Toppin, and it's Alfred Payton in for Derrick Rose. That one misses for Randall. You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power driver, isn't he, Greg? I mean, the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kev. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gap. Here's Peyton. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. As to Burks. And here is Gibson. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Smith, the pass. And finished off by Abdia. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Here's Peyton following the bucket by the Wizards. Pass to Burks. Randall kicks to Neely Kena. Pass to Burks. Fires the three. That shot, no good. And Washington the other way now. They beat the next during their last encounter in New York. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. And, and, and a lot of it is moving without the ball. When you do that, things tend to open up. Knicks trail by 14. Peyton right side. That one good for two. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Smith scanning the floor. Got a piece of it. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Randall. And he finished it off with a lay-in. Randall's got his second bucket. Oh, you see the good speed, especially for power forward. Randall making plays in transition. Smith the pass to Gaffer. Down low. The steal. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Two, two. And he knocks down the first one. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long-term impact on this game. Uh, There's no doubt about it. Listen, I hope Cole can have the kind of impact that some of these guys are. But look at the Grizzlies. I think they got two terrific ones. John Morant has superstar written all over him. Brandon Clark probably surprised some people with his ability to have an impact. And if you look at this past draft, Obi Toppin is one to watch. This is a guy with great size and length who was a perimeter player until he had a growth spurt. So those are the types of players that I think when you combine athleticism and skill with the way the court is spaced, man, can have a tremendous impact in this game. So it's the Knicks now after the basket by Washington. There's the pass to Burks. Oh, good on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Bertens. Let's the three fly. Goes back up. Here's Gafford. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. New York called for the foul. Washington shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. 
shooting two. The first one falls. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Peyton passes to Gibson. To the middle. Intercepted. Over in the corner, Avdia. From 12 feet out. He can't get that one to fall. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. 11-point game. Here's Burks. Rebounded by the Wizards. The defense has done a good job of forcing him in tough shots this game. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, two you, you just have to foul. be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw, good from Avdia. That one misses. Knicks trail by 12. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. Bertans grabs the board. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Avdia with the ball, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Avdia's got five. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Avdia's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Stolen by Avdia. Here's Gafford. It's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Here's Hutchison. He has five. Passes it to Bertans. Lets it go with a three. No good that time. The Knicks go the other way with it. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Knicks trail by 14. Peyton with the ball. Trying to end the drought, and it's blocked. And, and you know what? Call it great defense or a poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their score. And, and the defense not making things easy for them. Now, here is Smith, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for their shooters. Nick shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Now, here's Burks. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. And so it's Washington with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll return shortly.
And we chatted with Bradley Beal recently, who touched upon the joys of playing at home. Being yourself, you know, being in your own comfortable setting, you know, and then arena packed full of your own fans rooting and cheering you on, that's, that's constant motivation and just, you know, that puts us into this mindset that we have to win at home. You know, Gray, it goes without saying just how important playing at home is. It's a matter of pride, making your opponent feel uncomfortable. Two advantages that erode when you lose in your own house. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, we've seen a competent-looking Wizards team out there. You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. On the court for the Knicks, they've got Barrett. Taj Gibson is out there with Noel. Then there's Peyton. And it's Neil Aquina in at the two-guard spot. Here's Neil Aquina. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Peyton over Smith. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range, he's one for five. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Hutchison passes to Gaffer. Count it. And the Wizards lead by 20. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. You know, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Now here's Noel. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. It was his rebound, but it stood out even more to me. I mean, they could not keep him off the glass. So it's Washington now after R.J. Barrett's miss. Here's Hutchison, Barrett covering, and they're running. That's good, and it's Peyton with the assist. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Smith against Peyton. Now the pass to Avdia. Back to Smith. And Berton's now top of the key. Just four to shoot. To the paint. Here's Hutchison. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Hutchinson's got seven. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passes. Knicks trail by 20. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Gibson. Yep, that one goes. Gibson's got his second basket. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. Craig, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in, but, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental, and I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And Washington going with a whole new group here. The Knicks also changing it up. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Gibson. Toppin comes in for Frank Nilekina. And it's Rose in for Peyton. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Beal is graceful on the drive. Clever at finding ways around the defense. Knicks trail by 20. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And Westbrook throws it down. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Rose against Westbrook. Shoots from the elbow. Rebounded by the Wizards. 
And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss. We'll, we'll see how long they can make this last. Pass to Robinson. He kicks to Barrett. Floats one. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Six points for R.J. Barrett. With defenses usually playing him to drive, Barrett's developed a nice little floater for when he can't get to the rim. Now here's Westbrook. 12 points for him. Beal gets a wide open look. Bryant passes to Hachimura. He dishes it to Beal. Kicks it to Westbrook. Here's Bryant. Robinson with the block. And they'll keep possession. Back to Len. Over Noel. Here's Bryant. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on R.J. Barrett. The six foot ten Bryant is solid at drawing contact, especially when he's doing his best to score. The Wizards have shot eight of ten from the line. That's an even 80 percent free throw shooting here. Shooting two. And he makes the first. I mean, it's always interesting to see how players develop. Brian just keeps getting better, growing his skill set and learning new tricks. Julius Randle's checked in for Noel. Both free throws good for Bryant. So it's the Knicks now. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Now Rose. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Five to shoot. It's deflected. Oh, the coaching staff has to like this. Hachimura using his size and length to make a difference on him. Beal. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Russell Westbrook. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. The Knicks have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Here's Barrett. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. His shooting has been a bright spot for them. Otherwise, they've struggled as a whole. To the inside, and Bryant slams it in. A oh, great display of unselfishness. Westbrook is solid at realizing when one of his guys is over. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Knicks. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. Oh, well, well, come on, Jay. Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon you see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing. New York shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game.
And that one falls for Robinson. and hits them both. So it's the Wizards now. And here's Westbrook. 12 points for him. Passes it to Hachimura. Here's Bryant. Collects the two-pointer near the hoop. Bryant's got six points in the quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Rose. With a floater, puts it up from 15 and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Hey, the key is confidence, which is exactly what Randall displayed there, taking and connecting. Westbrook passes to Len. Inside, here's Hachimura. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Barrett dishes to Rose. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's number two on him already. A third foul before the half, and he may be grabbing some time. Rose looking around. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. And great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League which I think is a very Take interesting a topic a and, a, and a very interesting Do way so. to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now can exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deal. And they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, and their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. And the Knicks making a change here. Burks has checked in. Both free throws good from Westbrook. And every team would love to have a player like Westbrook because he plays his heart out of the night. Here's Burks. Westbrook with the block. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And Beal kicks to Bryant. Tries it from 19. Randall grabs the board. The Knicks shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. The shot's good. Nice assist. Randall keeping his eyes up, playing unselfish basketball. Washington calls timeout. And with plenty of games still ahead, here's a quick rundown of the power rankings thus far. Taking a look at Portland, they couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. You know, for the Wizards, probably doing exactly what they hoped. Took some time to develop from a chemistry standpoint, but now it seems like they've got it firing on all cylinders. Now here's Westbrook. 14 points for him. Hachimura, the pass to Bryant. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Bryant's got eight here in the quarter. And so here is New York. Burks finds Barrett. Over Beal. Barrett, no good. Washington shooting impressively throughout at 62%. The shot, no good. 
Now the Knicks take it the other way. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Poked away. Pass to Burks. Shot clock at six. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Knicks have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 of seven from the foul line tonight. Free throw good, Burks. And hey guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. And Washington making a change here. Bairdson has checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Payton's checked in. And Burks hits two free throws. Here's Washington now. Westbrook with it. 14 points for him. And Beal kicks to Bryant. In a wide open look for Hachimura. Misses the three. A difficult situation for New York. Burks for three. No good there. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting him. Westbrook drives in. The defense sees Westbrook coming, but his verticality makes him almost a stop. Enzo Payton will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Outside Robinson. The pass to Barrett. Fires the three. They get it back. And it's sent back by Bryant. For the timing and energy on display, Bryant positioning himself well. He's just slapping the ball back. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop him. Bob Diaz checked in for Washington. Then for the Knicks, Taj Gibson's checked in for Robinson. And it's Neil Aquina in for Barrett. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw good, Westbrook. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Now, here's Toppin. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's Beal. Outside Bryant. Back to Beal. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Beal's got 13 points. Well, tall players like Bryant have a unique vantage point. It helps him see the open man. New York's gone 0 of 2 from deep here in the second. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. Is Smith. He's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And while we got a chance, let's look at some numbers for Bradley Beal. Averaging 25 points per five assists and three rebounds and the phrase stats don't lie absolutely <laughs> applies here he's been a monster on the court for this team uh, he's oozing with confidence I mean and it shows every time he steps on the floor he expects to dominate and Bryant slams it in well, there's a purpose to Bryant's game play with energy attack the basket and give your teammates a good target on the lock pass New York shooting just 34 percent from the floor Pass to Toppin. One fifty-eight left to play here in the half. Burks kept alive by New York. Washington shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. Abdia dishes to Bryant. Smith for three. 
with the second effort and a nice shot by Bryant. He's got 14. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Smith against Payton. Passes it to Neely Kina. Burks with it. For three. Rebound, Washington. Bryant's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Here's Avdia. Good, and it's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got six assists here tonight. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. Now, here's Burks. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Burton. By himself. And finished off by Burton. Well, this is what Smith does best. Keeping his eyes moving to set up the open man. 50 seconds left to play in the first half. To the paint. Toppin passes to Neely Kina. Here's Toppin. Bertans defending. Burks for three. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got his 16th rebound on the night. Smith against Payton. Smith the pass to Bryant. And he gets it to go. Bryant's got 16 points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. New York's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Peyton outside. Pass to Toppin. He got it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for the Washington Wizards. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. New Orleans, you guys had a tough time stopping their offense in the first half. What do you have to do differently? You know, we got to protect the paint. They're getting way too many easy baskets. You know, that's us communication on front and the post, and, you know, just communicating a lot more. We'll see if those changes stick. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. There was no stopping Russell Westbrook in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, and 2017's most valuable player, Russell Westbrook, averaged a triple-double for three straight seasons. Kenny, have you ever seen a lead guard who worked harder than the Brody? Um... No. He plays with the heart every night. You know, he plays with that intensity every night. You know, if I tried to do that when I was playing, I would be asleep for a week after. I couldn't. This guy plays with intensity, Shaq, that only few have played with. Shaq, do you know anyone like that? Uh, not really, but you hear the sound right here? What's that? Mm, That's a, it sounds like a motor? An incredible motor. Yeah, yeah, good job, Kenny. Okay. It's interesting to see how he adapts as he gets older. You know who he reminds me of? Who's that? With just his attitude and the way he goes on the floor every night? You? AI. Oh, I thought you were going to say Artificial you. Artificial intelligence. I like it, Ernie. Yeah. Who's AI? Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. He did a great job of attacking the seams, getting to the rim, and then finishing strong. And after a very lopsided first half, 
We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So the Wizards five right now. Bradley Beal is out there with Russell Westbrook. Then it's Alex Len. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Shooting two. And that one falls for Robinson. Greg, so many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons, right. but to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that Raptor, it's humbling and yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. And the shot is good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And the Knicks with possession here. Outside Rose over Westbrook. Kept alive by New York. Well, that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Now, here's Westbrook. Hachimura, the pass to Len. Over Robinson. Here's Bryant. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Beal against Barrett. The nine-footers on the mark. Barrett's got ten points. An 0 for 3 start to the first half is finally behind them. I mean, now maybe they can get something rolling. Barrett against Beal. Now here's Westbrook. Guarded closer. And there's Bradley Beal on the assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists in the game. For New York, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Here's Rose. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. They're having trouble getting going here in the second half. I mean, that's their fourth miss in five attempts. Westbrook dishes to Bryant. Back to Westbrook. Wizards passing it around. Len shot is off. Well, that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. The Wizards making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. But I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. The Knicks shooting terribly up to this point, just 30%. Some ramshackle offense play there. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. They get the rebound. Here's Randall. He doesn't hit that one. The Wizards have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Here's Len. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season, one word, solid. That free throw good from Len.
That one falls, so he hits both of them. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Yeah, the defender all over him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Now here is Hachimura. Eight points for him. Shot clock at five. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Oh, great ball movement there. New York's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Third quarter of basketball here and just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. But they recover it. And to get open is Robinson. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Noel's checked in for New York. and kicks to Barrett. Lock at six. And again, unable to change momentum here. From deep, Rose trains the three-pointer. Rose has got five now. Excellent awareness from Rose that time. He didn't want to give the defense a chance to contest his shot. Westbrook surveying the D. To the wing on the left. To the inside. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Dang. That's his fourth foul. Now he's going to have to be careful. Still a little ways to go and only two fouls to spare. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for the Wizards. Now here's Rose. He's got five, and it's good, two points. He's got seven. Look at the muscles of Rose right there. I mean, that's just the outstanding job, accepting the physicality and pummeling his way through it. Here's Beal. He's got 18. Here's Westbrook, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And New York making a change here. Burks is checked in. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Rose kicks to Toppin. Now here's Rose. He's got seven. Got a hand on it. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. Rose has got seven now in this quarter. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. 
Yeah, and Derrick Rose, Kevin, with a new beginning after knee injuries derailed his career. He said, look, if load management had been around back then, he might still be a Chicago Bull. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Uh, just a dream scenario for them so far. Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Here's Rose following the bucket by the Wizards. Down low, and Robinson throws it down. Great game for him. Double, double down. 10 points and 12 rebounds. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Hutchison. He's got seven. Bangs home the trifecta. Hutchinson's got 10 points in the game. And Derrick Rose, the youngest ever MVP at, in 2011, and it was the subsequent year that he sustained that first knee injury. If you think back, he was playing over 40 minutes a night on a regular basis, and their team had two-hour practices, uh, tough ones, uh, on off days. And so how can you keep up that type of demand on your body? Teams now tend to be more cautious with the burden they put on players. Hachimura, good, and Peel picking up the assist. Peel's got his eighth assist in the game. So here's Burks. And there's the pass to Noel. Burks against Beal. Burks can't get it to go. Washington has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Here's Hutchison. Ten points for him. Now, Hachimura shoots it. Can't nail the jump. Outside Rose. The nine-foot shot, and he hits the jumper for two. Burks has got his second bucket of the night. Oh, such a dynamic player. Rose is very good at realizing when he should look to dish it. To the middle, and stolen by Noel. Here's Toppin, and Toppin throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. For New York, they have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Davis Berton checks in for Hachimura. Abdia comes in for Beal, and Smith subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And then for New York, Taj Gibson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Neela Kina comes in One for shot. Burks, and it's Peyton in for Derrick Rose. Here's Smith. from deep it's rebounded by New York out to the right wing now here's Toppin he's guarded closely Smith against Peyton six to shoot the feed now to Gibson and it's Gibson finishing it off oh. Good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Peyton against Smith. Here's Gafford. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Abdia can't hit. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Some nice passing by New York here. Noel up top. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Now, here's Avdia. Nine points in the game so far. And just miss after miss right now. Or right, even for a player who's not a three-point specialist, I mean, that's a shot you've got to knock down. 
Here's Nilakina. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's Noel missing. Washington's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Smith on the wing, defended by Gibson. To the inside. And Avdia, the bucket on the assist by Smith. Avdia's got 11. Wow. Smith is just an incredible distributor, a genuine floor leader. He knows where to dish the rock. New York's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And here is Peyton. He has six. To the wing right side. Here's Neela Kina. It's good from long range. Neela Kina's got himself on the board with three there. An average threat from beyond the arc. Neela Kina needs to keep working on that part of his game. Pass to Bertens. Passes to Gaffer. To the paint, Smith. The shot, no good. Peyton with some nice D. And for the Knicks, they're shooting the ball at 46% success rate since the beginning of the third quarter. And slam dunk by Noel. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down and with some impressive. thunder. Yeah. Now, here is Smith. Inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, the speed of Smith and his ability to change gears constantly keeps the D on their toes. He has a knack for picking up fouls while shooting. First trip to the line for him here. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. First one falls for him. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Thomas Bryant is checked in for the Wizards. Julius Randle's checked in for New York. R.J. Barrett comes in for Toppin. Both free throws good from Smith. Well, Ish has made a lot of stops along his way in his NBA career, but it's a credit to his fortitude that he continues to work and, more importantly, improve every year. Now here's Randall. Six points for him. Here's Peyton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And the six foot, 485 pound Payton certainly has a unique skill set. Also wants to keep improving as a leader. Robinson's checked in for Chandler Hutchison. He doesn't get the second one. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Robinson misses. That's one he knows he should have drained. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And have to admire how hard Barrett goes. This kind of assertiveness is what makes defenders feel uneasy. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Shooting two. The first free throw is good.
that's also good. So he hits both free throws. Washington's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Avdia. Back to Robinson. Fires from 18. That one a little long. And so Peyton will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Here's Randall. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Washington shooting it quite well in this third quarter. 53% and the offense is rolling. Over in the corner, Berjans. It's stolen by Randall. Teardrop shot. Barrett wide open. He fires. And again, it's the Knicks missing. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Now, here's Bryant. That one wide left. One-on-one -on -one here. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Smith with it. Robinson for three. It's off. And so it's the Washington Wizards with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Knicks. Reggie Bullock is out there with Knox. Then there's Peyton. And it's Neil Aquina in at the two spot. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. The three-pointer no good. And thus far they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Peyton, that's good. They are just killing them on the interior. Washington shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Neto, the pass to Bonga. He kicks it to Bryant. And the wide open shot from Abdia. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Well, I think he's looking around wondering where the D is. I mean, nowhere near him, that's for sure. Peyton with the ball, picked up by Bryant. Peyton, good. Peyton's got four points this quarter. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. Peyton's gone 50% shooting tonight, firing away four of eight. Neto finds Bryant. Fires for three. Knicks with the rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the basket by Knox. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's Neto. Ball's knocked loose. And again, New York running the court in transition. Knocks the pass to Peyton. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, 
boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, that no long kidding. ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my night name on draft night. But 91, know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. I remember it like it was yesterday. Alex Lenz checked in for Bryant. One shot. That's good from Peyton. Washington has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Outside Robinson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That one falls for Robinson. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, your smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. The Wizards have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Neto. He's guarded by Bullock. Another steal. And now Knox running the floor all by himself. Abdia with the rebound. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Len shot is off. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Washington. Down low. Here's Bunga. That shot is off. And New York the other way now. Peyton passes to Neely Kina. Trying to find Bullock. Gets it to him. Banked in off the glass. Bullock's got four points this quarter. Can't leave anyone uncovered around Nilakina. He is so adept at exploiting situations like that. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. You know, Chris, every season we see teams in a given game or series. They just don't seem to have that same energy. What are some of the reasons teams fall flat? Well, I think sometimes, uh, you know, the stakes are a little bit higher in the playoffs. Uh, the other team is playing hard. Some teams have never gotten to that level before. Uh, some teams, you know, uh, let their guards down at times. You know, then you try to turn it on, but, but you're already on the ropes. Burks, he's checked in for Alfred Payton. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. And then Len slams it in. No, oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. So it's the Knicks now. Picked his pocket. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Here's Neto. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers.
Suns. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. And Washington making a change here. Hutchison's checked in. Good on both. And the league taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can. We'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the idea of a play-in That's a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last a... few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. It might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also, if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future, uh, I think that's going to help. But I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward. Merlin's Noel checks in for New York. Here's Neto. Now the pass to Len. Kicks it to Robinson. The 11-footer. Pass to Bonga. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Bonga's got his first two points. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. The Knicks have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Neely Kina passes to Bullock. Here's Knox. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Washington. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I, I, I just don't agree with that. And I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm sure. The reality is... These guys work just as hard as guys work back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is. And in a lot of ways, they've got more courage to speak out because, you know, let's face it, they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before. That is true. Shots good by Gafford. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And the Knicks with possession here. After the basket by Washington. And here's Bullock from the arc. They get it back. Here's Noel. Misses from short range. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Hutchison. Neto, that's a two-pointer. Here's Gafford, and he lays it straight in. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That's foul number two for him. Here's Pell. Inside. Stolen. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. 
Oh, man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Neto, the pass to Gafford. Outside Robinson. Here's Gafford to the middle. Bonga, no good. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Knox. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one-and-done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can. they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the growth Shoot of the G two. League, no doubt, is instrumental in that new system. Uh, now these young rookies can get the playing time in lower tier pro games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college, even for a year, uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. Agreed? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. Both shots good from the strike. The Wizards have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Passes it to Neto. Here's Bonga. It's rebounded by New York. Noel's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Swiped away. To the inside. Bunga gets the bucket. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. The Knicks have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bullock. Game continues to evolve, Greg. Any changes in particular that you do not like? Hmm. That's a, a great question. You know, I, I'd like to see the replay review uh, streamlined a little bit better. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind a touch more physicality uh, uh, being allowed in the game, but as much as we tend to complain, the one thing I have learned is if you're honest, you go back, we always complain. I don't care what the era is. <laughs> nobody's ever truly happy and I'm not going to spend all my time worried about that stuff partner. I'm just going to enjoy the game that we are all so fortunate enough to be able to watch. Totally agree. Now here's Bullock. Ball stolen. Here's Neto. The pass to Robinson. Here's Neto. It's rebounded by New York. Hell's got four rebounds in this game. Poked loose. Neely Kina passes to Noel. Good work there as it goes. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Here's Neto. Pass to Bonga. The three. But they'll get another chance. Passes it to Gaffer. Here's Neto. And the basket is good. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that, or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Hey, listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now, as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, 
uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. One thirty five left in the fourth. Come on, shoot. Outside Robinson. Back to Neto. Pass to Robinson. Just five to shoot. Bonga, no good. And he's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Wizards. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Alex Lenz checked in for Daniel Gafford. All three throws good from Noel. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Neto. Down low, here's Robinson, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. You know they are, sure. I mean, come on, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play it smart. Here's Nilakina, and here's Bullock from the arc. Anga pulls it in. The pass to Neto. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. The potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Russell. We often are told that the first game at home after a long road trip is like the last game of the road trip. How important was getting this win here? It was huge, man. Coming off the loss last night, a tough one. And uh, it was a great win for us. Got back in front of our home crowd, and we played great. We'll see if the home cooking can keep you going. Thanks, Russell. All right, David. Thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.